Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. For more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates, please visit my website civilbasics123.com. Go to type civilbasics123.com in Google so that my website will be open here like this. So which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics. So please follow my website civilbasics123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you comparison of the StatPro results as well as the ETAP results for the G plus 2 building which is placed in north facing direction. Okay. So in my previous videos, I was already explained how to do the analysis process and designing process by using StatPro software and uh, how to do the analysis process and designing process for the respected uh, G plus 2 building by using ETAP software. I will provide you that respected video links in a book cut link. Please follow that video. So firstly, I will show you the model in StatPro V8A software. So click on the StatPro software. So this is my building model which is related to the G plus 2 north facing house which is placed in north facing direction. So these are the plinth beam sections and this is the ground floor beam, this is the first floor beams and this is the second floor beams. And these are the column section which is related to this respected building. Okay. So initially I will show you the properties for this building. Go to click on general option. So for this building I was considered 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23 is the beam size as well as the column size. And I was taken plate thickness which is approximately equal to 0 0.12. Okay. So again I will show you the model, same model in it type software so click on the e-tap software so this is the model which was done by using e-tap software so go to define option so firstly we have to select the section properties frame sections so for this respected uh, building section i was taken 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23 for the beam size and column size is also equal to 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23 okay again i will show you the plate thickness click on define option section properties slab section so here now we can see it will be consisting of slab 120 which is consisting of approximately 120 mm okay so i was applied the load cases which is related to the gravitational loads only for this building why because the building structure is approximately having 9 meter height okay so for the both models i was taken the same load cases which is related to the external wall load condition internal wall loading condition and parapet wall loading condition floor load condition system as well as the live loading condition system and i was taken the load combination related to that okay so after designing process completed we need to see the results which is there in StatPro software then i will show you how to compare the results with uh, etap software so this is the model which was developed by using StatPro software so firstly i am selecting the plinth beam section just i am selecting this respected beam number 18 click on the concrete design so for this respected concrete design it is consisting of your respected of uh, six bars of 12 mm dia at the left hand side section and it will be consisting of four pa four bars of 12 mm dia at the right hand side section at the mid span section it is consisting of six bars of 12 mm diameter for the respected top section again at the bottom section it is consisting of two bars of 12 mm diameter okay so this is the results which is related to the plinth beam section so click on the cancel option again go to the csi detailing option okay so firstly i will select the beam reinforcement details so here i am selecting elevation section which is related to the beam just i am selecting the plinth level beam just i am selecting one beam section one b one section so click on the a section now you can see this is the reinforcement details for this respected beam okay in StatPro software, it is getting 6 bars of uh, 12 mm diameter at the top and 2 bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom. While coming to your respected uh, ETAP software, it is getting 4 bars of 12 mm diameter at the top and it will be consisting of 2 bars of 60 mm diameter at the bottom. Okay. So again, at the section of the B, we will see. So click on the B section. Now we can see at the B section, it is consisting of uh, 2 bars of 20 mm diameter plus uh, 1 bar of 20 mm diameter and it will be consisting of 3 bars of 14 mm diameter for this respected section okay so this is the section a section b under consideration under that respected stat pro software it is getting uh, results at the section a here like this and section b here like this okay so from this results we can conclude that for plinth beam section it is getting higher amount of the reinforcement values in stat pro software when you compare with the etap software okay so this respected uh, 12 mm diameter bar is there in that uh, respected etap software it is getting around 16 mm or 14 mm diameter is there okay so this is the results comparison between the stat and etas for the plinth beam section again in the, i will show you the beam reinforcement details just I am selecting the beam which is there in the top section. Just I am selecting here, double click on it. Click on the concrete design. So for this respected design, it is getting 10 bars of 10 mm diameter at the section A. Again, it will be consisting of 6 bars of 10 mm diameter at the section B. Again, it will be consisting of 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom. Okay. So again, I am going to the CSI detailing. 
just i am selecting the beam which is there in the uh, respected 4b1 so here i am selecting section a now we can see for this respected section also it is getting the values which is approximately equal to 2 bars of 14 mm diameter plus 4 2 bars of 14 mm diameter at the top section again at the bottom section uh, 2 bars of 18 mm diameter is getting okay so from these results we can easily conclude that by using etap software it will give you the uh, most accurate results when you compare with the uh, standard results. Why? Because if for the respected 0.23 beam uh, dimensions, it is not possible to provide the 10 number of the 10 mm diameter bar. Okay. So at the section A, if you provide the 10 number of the bars which is related to 10 mm diameter, so the dimensions will be get approximately 100 mm for the 10 bars. Okay. So the total length of this respected uh, width of this respected beam is consisting of 230 mm okay so it is not possible to pour the concrete on the respected 130 mm cover okay so that's why this respected results are not applicable for the building construction process for the uh, stand pro software but when you're coming to the etap software it is getting only four bars which is consisting of 14 mm diameter 4 multiplied by 14 which is cons comes under around the 56 mm okay so the rest of the values which is consisting of approximately of uh, uh, 180 or 170 mm will be helpful for pouring the concrete section okay so we need to consider the etaps results for the construction of the building in this case okay so again i will show you the reinforcement details for the column so go to select this so here I am selecting the column which is there in this respected section ground floor click on double click on it click on the concrete design now you can see it is getting 4 bars of 12 mm diameter again in the same process I will take the column somewhere so click on the concrete design now we can see it is getting 4 bars of 16 mm diameter again I will select one more column just I am selecting here click on the concrete design so now we can see it is getting around 12 uh, number of the bars which is consisting of 12 mm diameter okay which is there in the respected uh, second floor okay again we will go to the ATAP software so here I am selecting the column reinforcement detailing so here I am selecting elevation section just I am selecting the section which is there in the uh, second floor so here I am selecting this respected 10th column so click on the A section so now we can see for this respected section it is getting around uh, 8 number of the bars okay so which is consisting of 3 bars at the top and 3 bars at the bottom and two bars on the side okay so which is consisting of 25 mm diameter for each and individual bar okay so when you're coming coming to the respected stand pro software it is getting 12 number of the bars which is related to the 12 mm diameter okay when you're coming to the etap software it is getting 8 m the 8 number of the bars which is consisting of 25 mm diameter okay so this is the reinforcement details for the column section when you compare the results with stat pro software the stat pro software is getting more number of the bars okay so here it is getting uh, around 12 number of the bars four at the top four at the bottom but in practical situation of the building sections it is not possible to provide four at the top and four at the bottom section okay why because in order to provide the cover for the respected column section so we need to provide the proper reinforcement value so that's why we need to consider the column reinforcement section from the etap software itself in this example okay so again in the same process i will show you the results which is related to the slab section reinforcement so click on this start process results option click on the cancel option so for this respected building just i'm selecting start output file option so click on the start output file option here so that the start output file option will be loaded in that respected start output file it is consisting of the results option mm -hmm. so click on the concrete design so in the concrete design at the end of this respected section it will be consisting of the uh, values which is comes under the area ast required for the respective remaining uh, two things okay which is related to slab section this time selecting example as uh, uh, this element 140 so for this respected element 140 it is consisting of 120 mm square at the top reinforcement section again it will be consisting of 120 mm square at the bottom reinforcement section again in the same process it will be consisting of the same amount of the reinforcement details for the different things here okay so we will go to the etap software here so here i am selecting csi detailing so click on the csi detailing so here i'm selecting slab detailing option so framing plans here i'm selecting so here i'm selecting for the respected uh, second floor so click on the double click on it so this is a framing plan again it will be consisting of reinforcement bars diagram here so here i'm selecting all the bars here like this okay so it will be consisting of your respected bars here like this select the bottom plan this is a section okay so for this respective section now we can see it is consisting of for 120 mm thickness slab it is consisting of 10 mm bars at the horizontal section again it will be consisting of uh, 5 mm uh, 5 number of the 10 mm bars at the 
but top reinforcement section okay so in a type software it will give you the reinforcement details here like this at section a as well as the section b section okay again in this it will be consisting of rebar quantities here on that respected rebar quantity we have bill of material so in bill of material it is consisting of your respected uh, average thickness and rebar weights and rebar area per uh, square uh, meter again it will be consisting of rebar ratio so here it will be consisting of slab area here and concrete volume here and it will be consisting of your respected section here like this so in a type software it is getting around the values 77 when you're coming to the stat pro software it is getting the values around 120 i think okay so it is getting values around 120 mm okay so from this respected results we can conclude that the slab reinforcement details also differ for this respected g plus 2 building case okay so this is the comparison of the results which is related to the stat pro software as well as the etap software when you're going with comparison uh, for the plinth beam section it is getting higher amount of the reinforcement values for the stand software than ATAP software again when you go into the uh, beam section reinforcement also it is getting higher amount of the reinforcement values in stand than ATAP software for the column section also it is getting uh, higher amount of the uh, number of the bars for the columns for the stand software when you compare with the ETAP software in the same process it will be consisting of higher amount of the uh, area section for the respected uh, slab section under considerations when you compare with ETAP software okay so from these results we can easily conclude that for the respected G plus 2 building structural model under gravitational loading condition the reinforcement values is higher for the stat pro software when you compare with ETAP software case and the practical results are not applicable for the stat pro software but the practical results are applicable in ETAP software under certain conditions okay so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions and if you need the more information regarding the civil engineering concepts please follow my website civilbasics123.com thank you